Global exceptions allow you to have exceptions to your global options on a per cabinet basis. You can have multiple rooms and have different globals in them. You can have different areas in a room and have different globals in them. But there might be times where just one cabinet just has something unique about it that you need to change. And it just doesn't make any sense to create a new room or create a new area for it. So what you can do is have an exception for it. In the grid, there's a column here for global exceptions, this exclamation point. Click on the item and click on the little button that comes up. A little warning message will warn you that you, know, you have to use this with caution because this is now separated from everybody else. We'll show how it's separated here in a, in a moment. Click on OK. It's going to load the global exceptions. So all the globals for the current area for this item are shown here. So we're working on row number 9, the basic base sync 36. And we're just going to change something different about this. We'll change um, the distressing type. Keep it simple for this exercise. And the ding and dent. So just those two items. Click on OK, but we can do anything. And, and the same relationship rules will go through. So if you choose something and it turns something else red, it will, you'll see it in red. So you know that the, that change that you selected has made something else that you have to fix before you can get out of here. I'll pick OK. And now a little red triangle will appear on that item. If we move the mouse to it, we see that we have global exceptions for it. We see that the distressing has changed and the ding and dent has changed. If we change anything else about the area that we're currently in, because we're in the base cabinets for this, say we change the cabinet line from classic to wood. And we go back to that. It also has changed in the exception, because the exception knows the things that you change just for it. You change just the distressing type and the ding and dents in this example. So the cabinet line was inherited from the change that we made for the whole area. And if you ever need to remove those, click on the little button, load the, it will load up the exceptions, and in the lower right-hand corner is the Remove button. Click on that, and it says, are you sure you wish to remove them? Yes. Now that little triangle is gone.